mean, I think the the movie in general just makes a lot of jokes on itself. Like, so anything like that, like Davy Franco has an, a hilarious line at, at one point where he's just he like, like a four year old man, <laughs> like a four year old man. It's just so good. Right. It's so good. The movie makes fun of itself in the very like beginning of the film. Yeah. You know, calling we talk out about how uncreative we are. Uncreative and unoriginal <laughs> yeah. it is. So it, it rehash old things. Nice Ice Cube plays your captain. Mm -hmm. Well, all the '80s great action cop movies have the angry black captain, so we wanted to definitely have our angry black captain. <laughs> First question I have to ask you: Your character in the movie? Yeah. Who did you channel? Which one of the great <laughs> television <laughs> inspectors or captains did you channel? You know, I, I always love the the. I think he was captain, the one on uh, Beverly Hills Cop. You know, the oh. one. That dude right there, he played one of the meanest, mm -hmm. um, memorable, yeah. you know, uh, like, it's like you remember that movie, but you still remember him. I, yeah. Out of all the stuff, and he's not even in that movie a lot, but, right. you know, you, you kind of look forward to, to having Eddie Murphy get <laughs> chewed out by this dude. And so I wanted to, to play this cliche character that you've seen a thousand times. But I wanted to be memorable, you know. I wanted yeah. to have my jabs at uh, <laughs> Jonah and Channing, mm -hmm. and to be able to uh, to to make an impact, you know. Even right. though he he's you know not throughout the whole movie, but he does make an impact. So. Oh, he does. Yeah. He does. And proud to see you, that guy, Inspector Todd, played by Gil Hill, who was a member of the Detroit City Council. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. He started out as a police officer, but after that movie, he became the most popular guy in town. Hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with that. He did a hell of a job. <laughs> he did. He did. And like I said, so did you. This was just a fun, funny movie. I mean, you know, a lot of action. Yeah. And just, like I said, just the way everybody played with each other and against yeah. each other and all like that. And, and, and we... we we let the audience in on on what everybody's thinking. You know, it's right. kind of like we 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 kind of let the audience basically not just watch it, but be a part of it, and 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 you know, wink and hand hand, and here's mm -hmm. what we're doing, and let's laugh at the fact that we're even trying to pull this off. <laughs> so talk about this whole experience. What was this like? I mean, this looked like it was a fun day. It had to be every day. Oh, it was great. It, it was. It was, and I'm glad that translated because yeah. we, we really did enjoy each other. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody had fun. We were down in uh, New Orleans uh, shooting okay. the film and uh, we just liked hanging out with each other. We'd, even when we weren't shooting, we, right. would, we would seek each other out and, and, and go to dinners and, and hang out and um, on set when we weren't on camera, we were hanging out, you know, hanging out right off camera. Right. Um, and uh, we just had fun. We enjoyed each other. We all uh, Channing and, and Jonah are they're great improvisers. So, you know, we played. We we do a scene and then we go back and play with it some more and and see what we could come up with. Well, that's great, like you said, because I can only imagine there'd be certain times you'd probably do one scene and it's different each time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You get different takes and different reads on it, and we'd have fun in the moment and really enjoy it. Because you know, once you're done with it, you got to move on. You got a lot of ground to cover. So, right. you know, you'd want to explore it as much as you could and then move on. 